Welcome back to another Blueprint video. I'm Ghost, and in today's video, I'll be showing how you can learn and maximize the strength of the Sui heroes. So without further ado, let's dive into it. And we are here. Now, the first thing we are going to kind of talk about is kind of understand how to drop your king, what tile you should drop your king, what kind of support funnel troop you need, or even possibly what kind of a spell tankage do you need for your king and being able to identify when you need to use those. So first things first, we're going to talk about is understanding tile count. So I want to be able to talk about tile count and the purpose of a manner of being able to understand where to drop your king. So as you can see these boxes right there, each one of these square boxes are essentially one tile. So this is one tile and this is two tile, indicating that these two buildings are two tiles apart. Now collectors in general usually are three tiles. I'm not sure you can you can't really see it, but usually they are three tiles. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw that out there so that you can kind of see that these are three by three tile uh, buildings. Now, now the, the first thing you kind of have to identify is where do you want to drop your king or where do you want to sue your king for that matter, and what direction do you want him to go? So we're gonna mainly focus on kind of letting this king. Let's sit, just say going into this compartment so that he can potentially just take down the enemy queen and luring that CC out for us. So that's what we're going to mainly focus on. So the first thing is having to funnel the left side and of course the right side. So this side is the left. This side will be considered the right side. And what I want to do is again highlighting these three tiles right there. If you drop your king on the left side of this collector. He will come in from this left side of this tile and then the next closest building will be of course this gold mine because he's going to be stepping towards the right side of that gold mine. It will make this battle, this dark elixir collector the next closest and then he'll go over this pathing to the archer tower there and then inwards to this compartment. So obviously that's kind of great understanding tile count. Why you want to understand it is that so you can actually uh, limit on having to use your funnel troops for example you don't have to necessarily take these two buildings down just because you could take advantage of the uh, tile count and being able to just drop the king on the left side of the collector so that he goes to this gold mine dark elixir drill archer tower and then path his way inside now the funnel on the right side i kind of just want you can either use a baby dragon but for me i'm going to use the queen there a lot of people like to use the combination of the king and the queen together so that makes the Sui even stronger. So let's just take a look at this replay and kind of see how this uh, Barbarian King pathing goes. And like I said, he's being dropped on this left side of the collector, which makes him go to the gold mine. Once he does take that down, the next closest building will be this Dark Elixir Drill, then making this Archer Tower, this workshop, and then he's going to path down to the cannon inwards towards this enemy queen, just like that. And I'm using my queen there just to kind of support the um the king right there and he did ended up pathing in there now again this is not a full attack this is just demonstrating the mimics and of course the basics of the uh barbarian king and which tile to drop him on to kind of get you guys familiar with how to do, uh, utilize tile count and take advantage of it so that you're not necessarily having to waste troops or potentially an invisibility spell to get the barbarian king to go the correct way so as you see there the barbarian king itself is getting that queen and getting that cc pool which kind of makes a huge difference in terms of being uh, the base and the sui itself so now let's just take a look at what happens if you drop it on the right side of the elixir collector instead of how we did it the left side all right and we are here with the second replay this is essentially the replay of what happens if you drop the king on the right side of the collector so as you see He's working on the workshop and he's now in the center tile of the archer tower which then makes this gold mine even closer for him. And after the gold mine he's going to go to the dark elixir drill instead of being able to go inside for this wizard tower to take down the queen and pull the cc like it did initially. So now it kind of makes things complicated even though you're using invisibility spell or even funnel troops the queen and the king is now taking different parts of its role and now you, as you see, the CC is not going to be pulled, which has a huge impact on the whole Sui overall. So now that we've talked about how important the Sui in tower counting is important, let's just take a look at what happens if the buildings are two by two, in this case on this corner of the base. 
All right, so moving along, here is an example of how to sue your Barbarian King and utilizing Funnel Troops and incorporating a Skelly spell to have your King go the correct way and get the maximum value out of your heroes. So first, my ultimate goal is identified by being able to try to sue my Barbarian King inside of this compartment. Now, obviously, there's a couple ways. Now, you can have your King go into here like that or from the top side into this compartment. Now, what I kind of find easier is going into the, the compartment like this. That way you're dealing with the RC first and then dealing with the CC pool afterwards, which is nice. So how to identify that and how to start that. So first thing, what I'm going to use is incorporating a Yeti because if I drop a Yeti on this right side of this wizard, uh, of this cannon right here, it will then go to this uh, elixir collector and then the Yeti mites are going to be able to take this down. So with the Yeti and like potentially a wizard, it's going to be able to take down not one but two other building itself so then afterwards what i'm going to be able to do is incorporating the uh, king on this side on the right side of the camp and then the king is going to go to this army camp archer tower and then go straight inwards and go into this rc compartment like so now in order to funnel the left side for that king so the right side is with the yeti the queen is going to come inwards here to go into this side for the monolith and for the town hall of course so with this Utilizing a Skelly spell, uh, using it on the Warden is going to be great because it's going to tank the Expo, potentially tank the RC so that my King can get deeper inside of that Expo and pull the CC for me. So let's go ahead and take a look at that replay and see how this was established and done. So as you see, using Title Count is being incorporated not only for the Barbarian King, but you can use this on any troop such as the Yeti. The Yeti Mites are always known for how they funnel. So as you see, the Yeti Wizard is able to take down three buildings. So you can see that my Barbarian King has a very sweet, narrow path inwards towards this compartment where I'm going to have a Valkyrie incorporated with that. And then my Queen is going to be supporting the left side. So now you can kind of see how narrow the Hero Dive and Hero Push is kind of going and, and how that is being established. With the Barbarian King, it's going to be able to pull out the CC for me. And of course, I do have the Golem, the Ice Golem incorporated on the top side so that my RC can come and follow along to take the multi so that my Queen can turn around into the Monolith and then go for the Town Hall. So obviously this is not a um, full attack, but this just goes to show the potential that you can actually do with your heroes if you just invest a little amount of spells. Like I used a good amount, I used a Yeti, Wizard, then I used a Golem, Ice Golem, Headhunter, and then I used all three of my heroes to be able to take down the Town Hall. So with this back end, you can do pretty much anything on this back end with the good warden ability. You have a really good shot at taking this base down because you still have plenty of spells to work with as you can see there. So now let's take a look at what happens if you drop the King incorrectly. Alright, so here is another idea of how to actually implement that King Sui with the Yeti and of course the Skelly spell. Now, as you can see, the Yeti actually did get three buildings with the wizard, just like the previous did. Now, from the where the King location, I dropped him from the right side of this building to go inwards, to potentially go inwards like that. And with the Queen, the Queen is supposed to work with the King, but due to where the King is standing, the next closest building will be this Tesla and not how he is going to initially go inwards to this RCA Expo compartment and has as we initially did on the first replay. So. This can go, this is why you kind of don't want to overextend your funnel. And instead of having to funnel this side and start the king so far out to the right, you could just take it down how I initially did. Instead of just taking these three building down, stop the drop the king higher so it's easier for the king to go in instead of risking it just like this. As you can see, little details into traps can make a huge difference. So that's why it's always safe to, better to safe than sorry, as in this replay and the previous replay before. Now that we've actually incorporated everything and understand tile counting, let's jump and combine everything into a full attack. All right, and we are here to actually conclude this with a full attack. Now highlighting the power of the Sui hero if you're able to manage it correctly. So we're starting things off with the Skelly Donut here for the CC, the Monolith, and of course that Ground Expo, because now with this, we're able to implement a Flame Flinger for this scatter shot where the Queen is right there. So obviously using the test barbarian and then placing that flinger. Now you're gonna be able to see where I kinda of wanna push with this Sui. I wanted to use this Yeti to be able to take down this right there so that I can drop my king here and have him path inwards to this compartment and then sweep himself into the town hall. As you can kinda of see that I've established this funnel by using the queen there and of course using the barbarian king 
and then I scold him to tank this enemy king so that my own king can actually reach and get to the town hall. So the Skelly Donut always opens so many Sui value because like you're able to take down like at, for instance the Monolith, the CC, and that Expo. That way your king is pretty safe. As you can see, 12 o'clock has literally no DPS to where my Barbarian King can actually solo the Town Hall himself. So moving along, I'm actually incorporating the Archer Queen to go to the left for that scatter shot because as you can see here, the right scatter shot is being taken down by this Flame Flinger. And then of course, this army definitely could have this it doesn't necessarily have to be hog riders but this is just what i had in my cc and what i had already cooked up so i always just went with it and kind of roll with it and just given the value with the siri hero the donut is just too easy to do so as you see half the base right there is kind of gone while using the skelly donut and there's nothing left other than two multis the eagle compartment and of course that back end expo as you see there the king took down the town hall the multi the queen took down the scatter the left scatter the left scatter the rc and the expo as well while the flame flinger took down the right side scatter and of course the archer queen so obviously not much base left there it's so easy you can probably use the dragon riders on this instead of having to use super hog riders but this is just what i already had like i said and this goes to show the power of the sui hero implementing a yeti using the skelly spell using the golem and of course incorporating that with the skelly donut always makes silly hero is stronger so this goes to show you could probably try it on your own be able to utilize tile counting and take advantage with the yeti and the hero drop to be successful with any Sui hero attacks all right and that'll conclude it for today's video i hope you guys were able to pick up a few tips and tricks on how to maximize Sui hero value for both the barbarian king and the archer queen by understanding tile count and of course where to drop the king and so on if you guys liked this video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys would like to see in our very next video. But until then guys, I'll catch you all in the very next one. Ghost out.